guys, Nick Clark here, welcome to Focus Fitness Training today, today we're doing our new video which is our equipment versus equipment video, okay, uh, now first and foremost, the main question I get asked as a PT is, what is the best piece of equipment to use, okay, and the simple answer is everything, okay, you should, yes, everything, you should be using everything, like from dumbbells to barbells, resistant bands, stability balls, TRXs, um, you know, pull-up bars, everything you should be using, even body weight, okay, you should be incorporating different pieces of training on different pieces of equipment into your training okay so you get a good all round okay so you can get the best benefits from what you need to get okay even if it's like you're, if you're training for a marathon or something okay depending what your goals are but anyway the first piece of equipment to kick off the video is the barbell okay and most people relate to this piece of equipment as the king of pieces of equipment uh, basically because of the everyone goes to it to start with but it gives you your bench press, your barbell curls, your squats, your deadlifts, okay, and they're just to name a few, okay, but it is the one that you're going to go for, especially if you want to build some muscle, some serious muscle, okay, it is great for building muscle, uh, obviously power, strength, and even explosivity, um, if you sort of training with the weights a little bit lighter, okay, plus muscle control as well, so you can get to fluid contractions, but I would say do that when the weights are slightly lighter so you can get used to it and then obviously pile the weights on. But again, like I say, if you're still, if you're looking to pack on some muscle, then a barbell is obviously a great piece of equipment to use. Okay, um, obviously, and they're the main what pros. Okay, the con uh, for obviously barbell is it's a bit bulky. Okay, um, so if you are training at home, it's mostly not the best piece of equipment to have. Okay, because uh, it can take up a bit of room. If you've got room, then fair enough. If you've got your own little studio or basement where you can do it, fantastic. Um, if not, then I would say it's mostly not the best piece of equipment to have if you're training at home. Okay, but again, obviously, it's great for all those benefits that I mentioned at the start for like muscle mass, strength, power, explosivity, and muscle control as well. Okay, anyway, next piece of equipment is our dumbbells. Okay, now dumbbells obviously are great because they're not restricted by the bar okay so like, like with a barbell again the other con is you are restricted by the bar okay whereas with dumbbells you're not okay dumbbells you can have by your sides okay because they can go around you behind you in front of you okay wherever you decide to place them okay for the exercise um plus they're functional very very functional um and you can use them for pretty much almost any exercise which is from lunges the bicep curls line tricep extensions shoulder presses uh goblet squats okay um even some sort of crunch you can make like a weighted crunch okay so really are sort of a versatile piece of equipment and i would say if you're training at home dumbbells are a must-have okay they are a must-have you, you need to have dumbbells if you're training at home Okay, because uh, otherwise you know, you're going to miss out on a few benefits otherwise. Okay, so a definite must have a home is dumbbells. But make sure you've got enough weight, obviously, that you can pile on it uh, to overload the muscle uh, when you need to overload the muscle. Okay, unless you're doing some light training, if you're going for your heavy training, then you need a fair amount of weight to stick on. Okay, um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is obviously dumbbells. But the other great thing about them is they're sort of small and they can be put away in a box, compacted under a bed somewhere, okay, or behind the couch or in a box somewhere, okay, uh, there's not really much, like, much to come with it, it's just obviously the only con is obviously you can't basically put on as much weight as you would with a barbell, okay, um, obviously because with a barbell you can stack on masses of weight, okay, and obviously control it a bit better, because uh, you've got like a sturdy bar, whereas obviously with dumbbells you can't, okay, that's the only sort of drawback with them. But uh, moving on, our next piece of equipment is weight plates. Okay, uh, weight plates obviously relate to your barbell, your, your barbells and your dumbbells. Okay, so if you're just doing a general exercise that requires a weight plate, okay, which there are out there, um, then fantastic. Okay, because it just means you need that piece of equipment and nothing else. But make sure it's a decent weight plate. Okay, it's not going to be a 2.5 okay or just a 5 kg okay make it a bit obviously make sure it's a bit heavier it's got a decent amount of weight to it so that when you're doing the exercise okay that you can do it properly okay but again this can be done to build muscle tone uh, strength and power and even some explosiveness okay so again they're all going to be sort of 
hitting the same sort of areas but in different ways with di and obviously because they're different pieces of equipment so you can do them in different ways and hit those areas in different ways okay so again web plate i would say definitely or it, it's a no-brainer really you need it for obviously for your dumbbells and your barbell if you're training with a barbell okay so web plates are definitely a must have um in the video okay uh only con um, or drawback is again some of them can be a bit bulky but not but again it's not really a, a huge issue because they can sort of slide under under the bed somewhere or you know the couch or somewhere in the closet if, if you've got room okay or in a, your own sort of basement in the studio okay um, anyway the next one we're going to be doing talking about is chains okay now you've seen if you've seen my chain video okay then you've seen that there's different ways you can train chains okay you can hang them around off the top of your, your back okay and do sort of uh, push-ups okay so you can do chain push-ups you can do dips um, so it's chain dips you can do pretty much anything with the chains um, when you add them and you can even add them to the dumbbells or the barbells you know to make things harder okay or to add extra weight to sort of overload the muscle even more okay uh, so they are a useful piece of equipment okay um, you have to have enough chain obviously to make it obviously enough to have enough weight obviously um, make sure it's not you know you don't need just a little few chains here and there you need a massive lot of chains okay to actually make a difference in the weight okay and if you do have that sort of amount of you will definitely feel it okay you can even just chain train with the chains themselves okay you don't actually have to combo them with anything else okay but again you you can build muscle doing this uh of your power and strength and even some explosiveness not there's not a lot of explosiveness done with chains okay there is some but not a lot uh but again they, they you know they are a sort of uh, can be sort of a maybe essential okay not not everyone wants to train with chains okay so that, that's up to you uh, but obviously I would say they're, they're a good piece a good addition to have they're basically a good accessory addition to have obviously when you're training at home okay uh, so definitely a good piece of equipment to invest in okay they're very, very cheap just getting from your main DIY store okay um, obviously way obviously way a certain amount okay and you know it ain't gonna cost you too much okay uh, but yeah great for doing that the only drawback is they can dangle a little bit and make a bit of noise okay and chatter um obviously so you don't want to make sure make sure they don't want to sort of clang against anything or crack anything too much okay um that's the only sort of drawback with them really okay um but anyway uh, moving on uh, our next one is a stability ball okay now stability balls have come in the last few years okay um and they're great for building sort of core your core strength okay they're, they're mainly focused around sort of ab exercises okay which is fair enough you know uh, they are um where you obviously do your, your, your crunches and this and that but you can use them for other things uh of you like for uh, obviously if you're doing sort of uh, bench press stability bench press uh flies or shoulder presses you know seated shoulder presses um or even sort of a uh, stability ball planks um or even some leg work as well uh with stability balls so they are very very versatile stability balls okay They're not just for your abs okay or for your core okay but they help they help work with your stabilization muscles when you're actually using the ball okay but they're not just for your core they are for sort of every part of your body you can use every part of your body on them as you may have seen one of my earlier videos um or one of my very first videos okay which was um bicep curl with obviously um a stability ball or a tricep press with a stability ball okay so you can actually work your other muscles in your body with a stability ball very very effectively and get great results okay so again you would get bulk depending on the reps and sets that you're doing and the intensity you're doing okay uh you're gonna get obviously like some strength and some power from it as well okay but again it depends on of the rep ranges you're doing of the and the, and the way you're doing it okay and what exercise you're actually doing at the time okay but again sort of great piece of equipment to have and i'll say definitely a must have if you're training at home okay uh the next one we're going to be doing is kettlebells okay now kettlebells, I would say before we even go any further, they're must-have. You need them at home. Okay, at least three. Okay, 
you can't just have one that's like say 9 kilograms or 10 kilograms you know it should be like maybe 10 12 and then 16 okay just to really sort of ramp it up okay kettlebells are fantastic they, they're great for strength okay and they're great for muscle building and fat loss and calorie burning okay they're the they're all round. I mean, they're a little bit difficult to hold. Okay, obviously on the shape, uh, maybe for some people, but I find that they're quite comfortable. Um, but they are they are a great piece of equipment to be training with at home. Okay, uh, because obviously you can do all your swings. Okay, like if you don't have a kettlebell, obviously you can also use a dumbbell. Okay, and obviously just do the swinging motion. Okay, if you don't obviously have a kettlebell. Okay. But, uh, obviously, if you, I would say definitely invest at least one or two or, or three at, uh, at the least, um, uh, definitely uh, for home training, okay, because they can be, because obviously you're going to miss out on some great strength benefits and some great power and even muscle building effects, okay, but like I said, they are, they are actually great for muscle building, okay, because you do different exercises with kettlebells than you, than you would or you use them slightly different as well uh, than you would as a dumbbell. Okay, uh, plus you're holding them in a different way, um, but, but they're a great way of training because they, they, they just sort of hone your muscles in a completely different way and sort of make them react and spark in a different way uh, than you would when you're training with dumbbells or a weight plate or something like that. Okay, but yeah, so kettlebells must have at home. Okay, so definitely. Only, like I said, the only coin is that they can be a little bit difficult to hold, obviously around handles a little bit, but nothing major, okay? So it's not a major issue that you need to be sort of really worrying about, okay? But apart from that, definitely must have at home if you're training at home. Um, next one we're going for is med ball, okay? Now, you've seen my med ball in, obviously, uh, videos before, okay? It, it's a sort of general one, okay? They can, they, again, they come in different sort of uh, kilograms, okay, or, or weights, shall we say. Um, obviously, down from your lights to like, so I say one, up to sort of like, uh, I think even 20, or maybe 25. Um, can't exactly remember the top number, but, um, they, they do come in different range of weights, okay, and they're really, really useful to have at home. Okay, they're not just obviously for conditioning, they are great for conditioning, okay, um, you know, they're, they're great for, for, for your core, uh, they're great for muscle building, um, and even a bit of power and explosiveness. Um, so, again, they're a good, again, they're another piece, a good all-rounder piece of equipment, okay, plus they're compact as well, they're, it's only a ball, okay, it's not, as long as it's not, I mean, the massive ones are a bit bulkier. That is the main drawback on the big ones, okay? They're a bit bigger, so obviously they take up a bit more room. The ones are obviously a slightly lesser weight, not too much of a slightly less weight, but a slightly lesser weight. Obviously, then you can obviously use those, um, obviously, and put, store them away under the bed somewhere or in the cupboard or wherever you're going to store them, uh, as long as they're safe. Um, but again, really good, great first tile piece of equipment. And you know you can you can use them all different sort of ways. Uh, you can sort of use them for press ups, use them for sort of curl catches. Like if you're gonna throw the ball up, and you catch it. As obviously you catch it in the mid sort of part, you're gonna take your arms down nice and slowly. So we're gonna biceps. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you can even work with them for, uh, for like leg work and stuff like that. your back, your chest. And so it. Like I say, very versatile piece of equipment, great piece to have, and I would say must have at home for a med ball. Okay, um, but like I say, the only drawback is some of them can be a bit bulky. Okay, uh, next piece of equipment we're going to be using is a TRX, as you can see hanging in the back here. Okay, now T TRX is basically you train like you're suspended in midair to a certain point, it can be adjusted. With the straps, the length, okay, so like really, low, like really low to the ground, uh, sort of mid and quite higher up, okay, depending on the muscles you're using, okay, I went with like curls, triceps, um, you know, shoulder presses, flies, or, or even some leg work, or even abs. But I would say the good thing about this one is it does work on your core. The whole way through, it works on your core, okay. Um, you know, and, and the stabilization muscles do you do. But again, it's a different way of training, so it's great to actually incorporate into your training. Okay? 
So. Now this one is obviously weighted against the door. Basically, the ones that you can get for home, basically they have a weight on the end, on the other side, okay, the other side of the door, okay, uh, basically, which means obviously I can have, I can put my weight into it, okay, so I can lean back and not have to worry about obviously falling backwards. Make sure that the door, um, basically, that the weight is on the door that the side it opens, okay, because this door opens away from me, okay, so as long as I have the weight on that side, then I can put as much weight behind it on this side as I want, okay. Like I say, they can be adjusted with the straps here, okay, and obviously uh, the other straps as well. Uh, but again, you can do sort of certain things, like well, say curls, okay, so you do some curls. Okay, rows. Okay, you can do all sorts of things, even uh, press ups as well. So you can do suspended press ups, which is fantastic. Okay, so you go down and push up. Okay, now push up. Okay, don't go too far. Down, you only want to take your arms about 90 degree angle. Okay, if you go too far, you're going to hurt yourself. Okay, you can actually end up injuring yourself. Okay, but again, yeah, even if you do triceps. As you can see, working really well there. Okay. Okay. You'll find that's a really unique way of training. Okay, um, if you've never done it before, you, you'll, you'll definitely certainly feel it the next day afterwards. Okay, because um, I've, I've got to admit, when I did it the first time, obviously I felt it quite a lot. Okay, just make sure I stop. Uh, <coughs> but um, obviously, I've got to admit, I felt it the first time I did it. Um, obviously, very, very much so. But again, I enjoyed it then. I enjoyed the training with it because it's different. Okay, it's not your normal mundane training okay it gave me a different look of ways of training okay uh, and training in different ways okay uh, but great great piece of equipment to use especially if you're training at home or on the road even okay like i said if you can mount the weight on the other side of the door okay there's a little notice on the weight as well saying do not open okay like workout in progress okay so there's a safety notice there obviously to leave that on um, so you can do the workout and no one's going to disturb you. Okay, so really, really great piece of equipment and I would say definitely must have at home. Okay, um, <coughs> anyway, the next one we're going to be doing is called, uh, is obviously resistant bands. Now we all know what resistant bands are, okay? We can do many things with them. You know, like if you stand on the bar, okay? You can curl them up, okay? For the biceps. Okay, uh, you can even do shoulder presses. Okay, like so. You can do sort of low to high wood choppers. Okay, and many, many more. Okay, so I mean, like I say, you've seen me many times have the band connected to my bullet bar there, okay, and done exercises from there, from my triceps or from my biceps, okay. It, again, really, really good piece of equipment to have, very, very useful, okay, and compact, okay. Uh, it's very, very, very compact, you could you know, obviously just sort of fold it up and put it in the box, okay, or put it under the bed somewhere, okay. So, really, really good piece of equipment to have, very, very, very useful, plus, the, the other benefit of this is it gives you a different strength curve, okay? So with a barbell or a dumbbell, okay, it's hardest at the bottom, okay? When you get to the top, it's the easiest, okay? Whereas with a resistance band, it's completely different. It's complete opposite, okay? It's easiest at the bottom and hardest at the top, okay? That is the, that is the hardest point uh, when you're using a resistance band, okay? Uh, so instead of it obviously sort of like being hard and then going a bit lower, okay, it goes basically from low 
to high. Just just go, keep going, okay, till you get to the end and it's at the highest point at the end, okay? But I would say very, very useful piece of equipment, okay? But uh, not really make many drawbacks in it, obviously, but just make sure you don't let it ping back at you because that will, that, that can actually hurt, okay? If they can, some of them can snap a little bit, but as long as you get a good heavy duty one, okay, as you can see, sort of the thickness on this one is quite thick, okay? So that's some, gonna, that takes some good heavy duty stuff, okay? So really useful piece of equipment to have, a resistance band, okay? Uh, and this piece of equipment is an ab wheel, okay? Now, you may think, what, that was back in the 80s, this is all, yeah, it's old, very old school, and this and that. Ab wheel is great, okay? You should always have an ab wheel, at least, a few, let's say, to do your ab rolls, okay? Um, depending on what level you are at, okay? Offer it from your feet or your knees, or sort of your midpoint somewhere, okay? But you can add it to things. You can add, like say, a resistance band to it, okay? To make it harder, okay? And to make it harder, <coughs> like I say, all you have to do is wrap around on the handles, okay? And if I wrap it around my door frame here, okay? I've just created a bicep curl. Just by doing that, just by connecting it to the door handle, and wrap it around one of the handles. Okay, very, very simple idea. Okay, um, the turn around, I've just created sort of tricep extension. Okay, could even if I wanted to do my shoulders a bit more. Okay, or even a row. Okay, so as long as you're connected to something sturdy, okay, um, and stuff like that, then you're gonna get the benefits from it. Okay, so it's just all about using your surroundings as well. If you use your surroundings, and and then and you you're gonna be limitless in what you can do. Okay, that is just a very simple idea. I could have connected it to my bar and made it a lot harder from the angle I was at. But again, it's just a simple idea of putting things in, in a slightly different angle, again, okay, working the muscles, okay? So that rule isn't just for your abs, okay? It can be for your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders, your back, your chest, your legs, okay? It's limitless, even your obliques, okay? So it's gonna sort of trim those obliques down there, Obviously, remember that they run down diagonally, okay, not obviously downwards, okay, it's a diagonal version, okay. Uh, but again, I would say if you, have, you've got a, if you haven't got an ab wheel, definitely invest in one because it's well worth the money, okay, especially if you get a resistance, a resistance band with it as well, okay, so you can do that sort of stuff. So, easy peasy, okay. I mean, obviously, uh, sort of, sort of common what it is. Obviously, it can, can be slightly difficult to use for some things, but again, most of it is quite simple, okay? Um, but anyway, I'm going on to our very last piece of equipment, which is <coughs> body weight, okay? Body weight. Body weight is the best piece of equipment you can use because it's your own body, okay? And you can stress your body from, you know, kingdom come to, to the top of Mount Everest, you know, you can stress it to the point where you really cannot do no more, okay? Okay, uh, so, but, so that's why there's ne never ever a rep range in bodyweight training, okay? You need, you, you just push it to the point of failure till you cannot do no more, okay? You push it to the point of failure where you can't do no more <coughs> and you will get the results you want from bodyweight training, okay? So if anyone tells you that bodyweight training is not going to build muscle, then they're talking about through bollocks, okay? Because bodyweight training is fantastic, okay? The only restriction with bodyweight training is obviously you haven't got the weights with it, okay? So, but as long as you overload the muscle in a proper, correct way, then you're going to get what you need, okay? You're going to be able to sort of get the results of what you need, depending on the training you're doing, okay? But that's why there's never ever a rep range, you always do it to failure, okay? Anyway! 
that is the equipment versus equipment video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you uh, found it informative and like, give it a like. Or if you did, give it a like and a thumbs up. Or if you don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook and the YouTube channel, okay, Focus Fitness. Or if you don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, okay, because uh, that way you can follow us every single step of the way and never miss a video posted on this channel, okay. Um, or if you leave your comments of what you thought about the video and that. Um, obviously, sorry if it's a bit long winded, um, but like I said, obviously subscribe to the channel, obviously make sure uh, that you do that, um, obviously like I say, and that way you never miss a video, um, get your friends involved as well, and I will see you guys in a few days with a new video. Okay, cheers, bye.